Today we're going to be showing you how to make an organza bow. This is a very easy and quick process and it's fairly beginner friendly. You need very few tools and materials in order to create this bow. This bow can be used for a variety of ceremonial occasions as decoration for your venue. You can decorate this bow with whatever you like, but here we're using artificial flowers. You may choose to use live flowers as well as any beading or additional jewelry. To begin, we're going to show you how to make this bow. You're going to need a roll of organza, a pair of quality scissors, some wire cutters, and a piece of wire, as well as any artificial flowers or decorations that you wish to use. This particular roll is approximately 70 centimeters in length, and you're going to need to cut out a square of 70 centimeters by 70 centimeters. You're going to fold this piece in half until you have 70 centimeters by 35 centimeter pleat. And you're going to need four of these pleats stacked one on top of the other. Since rolls may vary, dimensions may vary as well. And this is not too big of a problem. Once you have stacked these pleats one on top of the other, you can begin folding them in an accordion formation. And that is simply this parallel pleating technique. Make sure that the pleats that you're creating are fairly uniform. Once you have finished gathering these pleats, find the center of the bow and fold it in half. You're going to be securing the center with a piece of wire. You're going to wrap this piece of wire fairly tightly around the center, ensuring if necessary that there are some loose wire pieces and this will be used later to secure the bow to a chair, for example, or a pew. Adjust any of the pleats as necessary. You're going to take a pair of quality scissors, fabric scissors preferably, and you're going to start cutting out the pleats. So you're going to take a couple of pleats and gather them between your fingertips and you're going to form what I call a leaf formation. So if you can picture a leaf and the top of a leaf, you're going to be cutting into that design. Don't worry too much about this being perfect. If you make any mistakes, you can correct them later. Organza is a fairly forgiving material that will not separate or start to run, so it is fairly easy to correct any mishaps. When you move on to the side that is the folded portion, it's important to cut through the fold so that the pieces don't stick together because you will be pulling them apart in the next step. So ensure that you're cutting through the fold and none of the pieces are sticking together as you carry on. This is very reminiscent of making paper snowflakes. And all you're doing is you're creating a bit of a shape that when these pieces are pulled apart, they will appear fairly fluffy and full. Once again, do not worry too much if you've missed something because you will have an opportunity to correct it as you go along. Once you have cut out these leaf shaped pieces on the edges of your bow, start pulling these pieces apart. So you should have eight pieces in total and you're going to be separating the organza one piece from another and bringing it towards the center. As you see, this will create that fullness. If you have made any mistake, this is your chance to correct it as you will see if there are any jagged pieces or uneven pieces. You can simply take a pair of scissors and correct. So 
So once you have finished pulling apart one side, you will move on to the other side and continue the same process of pulling these pieces apart and bringing it towards the center, fixing any mistakes or errors as you go with your pair of scissors. If any of the pieces remain stuck together, take a pair of scissors and simply cut through. Once you have separated all of these pieces, you can adjust and ensure that everything is fairly uniform and up to your liking. Once this bow is finished, you have an opportunity to decorate it. So make sure you fix any imperfections that catch your eye at this step. And it is fairly easy now since you see the final product. Then you can take your artificial flowers and you're simply going to be putting them in between the folds and securing it with a glue gun. So you can simply purchase some artificial flowers from a craft store and you will use your wire cutters to cut it off the stem. You will take a glue gun and simply place some hot glue at the bottom of the stem and then you will insert it in between the folds, gently making sure that it is firmly secured and then you will take your hand and you might choose to pinch it, making sure that the organza is sticking to the glue. You can of course use whatever flowers that you like depending on your theme or you may choose to just simply leave the bow as it is. This is entirely up to you and up to the design you're wishing to achieve. So carry on this process by putting a little bit of hot glue at the very tip of the stem, making sure that the hot glue doesn't touch the surrounding fabric, but simply insert it very deeply into the bow without trying to damage any of the surrounding organza. As you see, this is the finished product. It doesn't take too long and it is very easy to do. If you wish to secure this bow to a pew, for example, or a chair, you can use the excess wires and wrap it around the chair or the pew. If you do not wish to use the wires or you are attaching the bow to a tablecloth, you can just simply use an invisible safety pin. This is the final product and thank you so much for watching.